Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the outpost. Actually, I'm not at the outpost. I'm up at my neighbor's house. Um, I guess you all recognize this strapping young lad. Um, he has made some knives for me in the past and he made actually what we're going to do today um, is try to weld and cut some tube steel that I've got left over from that tractor extension that he made um, for me that we used to lift the beams when we were putting together the timber frame cabin. And I've got some of that left and we're going to cut a piece. This canoe I haven't been able to use it very much because I had really no way of getting it in the truck and securing it down and being able to move it back and forth because it's a, what was it, 14 foot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a 14 foot canoe. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make a little bit of an extension that will go into my receiver hitch, come up and tee out that way and we'll fix a, a way to be able to strap that down. That way I can move it, I can load it easily and I'll be able to use it going fishing. Um, but this is the, the metal that we've got left over to uh, be able to use for that. It's the same size as my receiver hitch. So I don't know if he'll be able to do it or not uh, because he's fairly new at stuff like this, but we'll see towards the end. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just teasing. If, if it, what, What's your slogan? You would rather spend $200 in two weeks making something and I had to go to Lowe's or Walmart and get it for two dollars. Yeah, because he just loves piddling and making things. <clears throat> so I'm sure No, that... I, I, I'm just hard-headed. Oh, he's just <laughs> hard-headed. Uh, I know that um, it'll be really nice when we get done with it. So that's what the project is today, is to make something that will allow me to be able to transport this. That way I can use it more often. And um, Patrick will be here, and we're thinking about doing a um, little camp out overnighter. Hopefully, we can paddle around, catch some fish, and do a catch and cook at the same time that we're camping out. So, what do you think we need to do first? Go sit back on the porch and relax. And <laughs> think about it. <laughs> think about it some more. All right, guys, we're going to get at it. From the end of that receiver hitch. The Female one right there. Now Old you feet. were up in here a while ago. Yeah, put it back there at the other. The right. other. There you go. Alright, hold on. Let me make sure this is what Fill a bat and make sure you're in the right place again. Um, I'm not, but it'll work right there. Because you've already done that part. Hey, you want it, you got it where you want it sticking out? Yeah, that, that'd be fine. Set that on here. All right. Let's see something. All right. Can you feel the when it's flat? Yep. Okay.
Hold up, Richard. Well, um, my neighbor succeeded in um, being able to put all of those pieces together. He never ceases to amaze me. Um, I didn't know if I was going to have to number them A, B, C. I know that will get edited <laughs> out. <you know. laughs> but how we cinched it in here is we just use this one strap, went around the handle, which keeps it, you know, wanting to, uh, locking it in that way. And then the two hooks on the inside of the bed, we just went across, which keeps it from doing this right here. Because if I ratchet it down from here, it wants to kind of pull the front end up, you know. 
because of the, the shape of the bottom. But I mean, look at here. It's in there. So we can just about go anywhere. And we were standing here talking about where we were going to go fishing first. Um, but this tubing was left over, like I said earlier, from him fixing the extension on the tractor, which still, a lot of people watch that. That was a cool rig, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're probably the only two that have a, have a rig like that. There's not another in the world. And we were just standing here talking, he said, if, if we keep on with this boat, we'll have all kinds of gadgets on the boat like I've got on my tractor. <laughs> Well guys, I came back home because my neighbor actually got an important phone call that he needed to take. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and come on back up here. But I'll tell you what, I'm really glad that we fixed this because it will allow me now to be able to... I'm going to take the boat to the car wash and clean it up. And I'm going to have to mount a couple of posts, that way I can turn it over someplace around here where it will be handy. Um, I was thinking maybe when my son gets here we might move that wood pile over there by the little shed, mount two posts, one in front of the other, and that way I can kind of offload this onto that, so it would really be nice. But uh, yeah, this will allow me to be able to transport the canoe and be able to go fishing and um, have a good time, so yeah, that was well needed. I think another thing that I'm going to do is get a light and mount it right here on the tail end. I'll probably still get an orange rag and put on the end, but uh, at least I'll have a light at night kind of sticking out there too to kind of warm people. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of um, the rig that we've got here. Well, I took a piece of indoor-outdoor carpet and I actually um, glued it on top of this. I don't have any actual clamps, so I just, you know, went around pulling the string tight and got this cinched down there so when it dries, it should dry evenly and it's pressed down there really good. But that will make the ease of getting the boat in and out and not scratching the bottom. So... I think this is really going to be nice when I'm done. And I got to thinking about it, I probably don't even have to get a light if I just got one of those triangles and mount it on the back back here. That will be sufficient because they can actually see my turn signals and my brake lights with the boat uh, hanging in there. I still may go ahead and get a little flag and kind of hang it on the last handle. That way it can kind of flop in the breeze. But um, I had that spare piece of carpet right here that actually came out of one of the ambulance buildings they were going to throw it away and I asked them if I could have it and it's probably been up at my sister's house for I don't know maybe three years so but it's been in the garage so it's uh it's going to be uh, come in handy actually for this job right here so I'm really glad that I went ahead and um, made this because when my son gets here this will allow us to be able to throw the canoe in there um, and not strap it on top of the truck because the other truck I had kind of scarred it up a little bit but uh, this will be really handy and then if I'm not hauling the boat like I said if I need to get anything in the truck that's extra long this is a short bed it will allow me to be able to lay stuff up here and I can still tie it down and haul it so it will it's kind of I guess what you would call it would be a carry-all so going to really come in handy.
I'm putting in some scrap 2x10s that I've got left over. So that should be a pretty good um, piece of bulk material to screw those shelves into. They actually have, you know, a plate. The, there's a round plate that the the one inch galvanized pipe screws into and that plate will mount onto these things right here so when I get it screwed in that should like I say uh, provide enough meat basically to screw into to hold it.
guys what we have is some hamburger and I cut up some fresh green onion and I put that on there mm-hmm well, we managed to get the kitchen pretty well taken care of today. Got it wired, got the reinforcing for the cabinet to mount them, and got the insulation in there. So now we are ready to continue with sheetrock and paneling. Like always, guys, we certainly do appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us here at the outpost. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video here, eat up my hamburger, and possibly go in there and um, sit down and kick back a little bit and relax. Um, thank you so much for sharing our content with uh, your family and your friends. My son, my daughter, and I, we really appreciate it. We hope everyone has a great afternoon. Take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.